And good e good afternoon, everybody. We are here live at the H and R train model H and R trains and toys store. Uh, today is going to be a train day. Uh, we are here uh, just on the other side of Tampa in St. Petersburg, and um, I'm really excited. I've not been here before. Uh, looking to check it out. And they have some stuff outside, too, um, just to look around and see everything there is about trains. And so, let's go take a look. Follow me. Let's step out of the car here. And, of course, it is required to wear a face mask uh, now, even though they... Maybe they don't require it. But we are in front of the train. There it is. H&R Trains and Toys Store. So, right now, uh, walking in. And let's see what there is to see. Railroad Crossing. Stop, look, and listen. This looks like a fun place. I'm good. Great. Uh, I'm good and I like trains, honestly. Uh, you're in the right place then. Yes, I am. <laughs> I really do. So this, what's this bell? I guess this is up from a actual uh, steam locomotive? Steam locomotive, one of the last steam locomotives retired on the New York Central. Wow. Does it work? Yes, it does. Very, yeah. Oh, poor, let it ring. That's really cool. And uh, so the, oh wow, so what, so what gauge is this one, the really big one, the G white scale. pass, that's what, that's the G scale. That's the one, see I had a, I went to a train show where I used to live in Kentucky. Uh -huh. Well, I lived in Ohio, but right across the river. I see. They had a train show uh, in Greenup County. And I went to it and they had all the scales of the railroad. Beautiful. In that uh, vicinity. Right. And so this is. Yep, we got all mixed scales up here in the lobby. Got the large scales on the left and the small scales on the right. Wow. Okay, so this is. So we got Thomas. Thomas the train over here. It's more for the kids. And just little baby train for the little little ones, and they even have a little desktop train uh, for the locomotive. And of course, oh wow, they even have shirts. That's kind of neat. They have shirts with trains on them. Of course, and of course, we got the. Really nice detailed uh, locomotive here. This train. Nice little train. Hmm. Well, this engine's making noise. I was wondering what it was. Of course, you got the really tiny scale here. Not working. Digital. Oh. Okay. 
I was like, why is it not running? the landscaping. Uh, in case wanting to make a model railroad, of course, there's the Jingle Bell Express. You got, this is the uh, Christmas train. One of many Christmas trains that they have all over the country. Uh, but this one, in particular, is the easy track system. Very much so, uh, and also probably very expensive. Um, I don't have room to put a train set in, in my room, and mostly because of my nieces will tear it up because they're very young, and yeah, and this, and the train sets too expensive for that, but, now something like this, for a train in particular, of course it comes with excess cars, you got this, and then you got this. This is the main one. This is like a the monorail, like a monorail. Or no, I'm sorry. This is a, like a speed train. Uh, it's all in one. It's got batteries, and it's also got a little controller. You can see right there. Bottom left, and then you have the control stick for that. All right. I really do. And here she comes. Oops. There it is. That's very neat. Yeah, so digital. It's got, so it's digital? Digital's the only way to go. Huh. All mine are. Oh, all you I got locomotives. My, uh, I'm a, I got a Western set. Oh, really? So everything is in between 1815 and 1870. Wow. Yeah, see, I, well, mine, the one I used to have it was a Lionel. Oh, yeah. And uh, the, I, I just ran on a pad. Yeah. Like this. And so that's all I ran on. But I had, it was a long time ago since I've had that set. Well, it sounds the only way to go. Yeah. Oh, that thing's picking up speed a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, 28-step yeah, speed, uh, 28 speed step. 28 speed step? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that thing's fine. That means it's 28 steps. 28 From steps? 0 to 28. So, 27, yeah, 20. 26. You don't really notice it, but it's actually slowed down at 26. Huh. On my track, I have a device that clocks in my, the uh, miles per hour. In, in scale speed. Oh, wow. It tells me how fast the train's going. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah. And then, they, of course, they have the, uh, the, I found out it's not far in uh, Parrish, uh, the, the train ride you can actually take. Yep. Uh, and the funny part is the tickets weren't actually that expensive at all. Yeah. It was real cheap. Yeah. It's fun. It really is. I mean, I, <laughs> uh, I'm planning on going, uh, and during the, they have like a Civil War reenactment in November, cool. and I want to go to the holiday one, the Christmas train. Oh, yes. That's yeah. the one I want to go on really bad. That's the one to see. Yeah. 
or like the North Pole Express or something like that. Very, very cool. So this is like the N scale? Is no, this, this is H-O. This is H-O? Yeah, this really? is H-O. Okay. This, this is N. Oh, okay, I see the difference. Oh, wow, very small. Very small. And then the Z is up front. Z is up front. That's the smallest, isn't it? Yes. Z is the smallest. Yes, German made. Wow. Yeah, because I've had... I forgot what scale mine was. Um, <coughs> I did have an HO. I did have an HO set. Um, and then I had a. It wasn't Z. It wasn't the smallest that's too one. Small for me. Yeah, that's too small. I can't see it. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks for showing me that. That's really cool. You're welcome. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look around at the bigger ones. Okay, you're fine. These are the big boys. These are cool. This is G scale. G scale is the biggest set that you can actually buy. And is and some of these are bigger than me. And more expensive than me. So of course you have the Polar Express as always. There's the train, the Disney Christmas trains, two of them. I really like this, how you can actually, you can actually, you can actually run your train with the Lionel app. So you download the app from Lionel, and you can actually run the train from your phone. I find it really interesting. You got the Pennsylvania Choir. Yeah. Yeah, this one had, had its days. The Union Pacific. You got the trolleys. Look at all these transformers and controls. This looks like he'd be a real engineer in your own house. Just how big these are. These are massive. That's the speed control, flying forward and reverse, horn corrections. Which is, I and mean, these are massive. I've always liked the Disney. Of course, it makes a lot of sense, considering that we are in Disney territory. You can see the cars and how big they are. And there's a here. You can see more tracks than anything. This is, now this would be something for my tree. But I'd rather do a Disney Christmas train. And you can see tracks are very, very large. We got the patriotic train. They want the train out, and you got the O gauge. The O gauge, or O gauge. Then you got the Nightmare Before Christmas. Train up there.
bottom of Vader's circus at the North Pole Express. Very nice glasses. Trying to set that will probably not even fit in my room. It's too big. I think it would be great for a tree. That's all my train. Oh, this is train houses. And of course, we got scale models of a old mountain town, little town ish, townhouse. Got the townhouse right there. With a little figurine with a car in the driveway. Okay. And you got the. Of course, you got the landscape of grass. That's the one I just put horns on. Well, it sounds good, doesn't it? Well, it comes over the thing, you know. It sounds really good. Hold on, word and. Who has VHS tapes anymore? <laughs> this is a VHS tape. I used to have those. Of course, we got the more engines and trains. This was a top show. You can see the Pennsylvania Flyer, the Chesapeake, and Ohio Railroad, with cars and engines.